Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Microwave Sam. Today, I want to solve a problem that happens when people install custom themes with my MyMenuFi under Nintendo Wii's. This solution might not work for everyone, but will help some people out. The Nintendo Wii that I am showing has already been hacked with Homebrew Channel, and it is using a hack pack that I have compiled. The hack pack link is in the video description if you want to download it. I will brick my Wii first, and a black screen will come with no way of getting out of the black screen. Then I will show you how I normally fix the problem. I will then show you the preloader and boot me methods of solving the black screen error after installing a custom theme on my Nintendo Wii. And the custom theme is not working, so it will brick my Wii, and of course I will fix it. So my Wii is already a Nintendo Wii that is installed as boot 2. A lot of Wii's will not be installed as boot 2, so try to follow the preloader method. So first of all, go to Wii options, and then Wii settings, and then you can find your Wii version system menu number over here. It also shows you the region by the letter it is. For me, it's U, and my version number is 4.1. So United States stands for U, and E stands for Europe, and um... J, Japan, K, Korea. So now I'm gonna go to Homebrew Channel and then install a incorrect theme. For example, if you had a 4.3 U Wii and you installed a 4.1 U theme, then it would brick your Wii and you would receive the black screen. I have my MenuFi in this hack pack and my MenuFi is right over here. So because the hack pack is in the SD card and the SD card is in my Wii, the My MyMenuFi application is over here, and the description says that this program allows you to make modifications to your Wii that could cause a brick. Be certain to have brick protection installed, preloader, or boot me installed as boot 2 is highly advised. So, for those who followed my hack tutorial, but then failed when it came to the theme part, you should have installed preloader. And preloader was highly recommended. It was the most recommended thing to install out of everything. But it was also optional. So if you installed preloader and you made sure it was working before you bricked your Wii and received the black screen, you're good. And if you tested that the reset worked, you're good. Um, so now I'm going to install my MyMenuFi, a bad theme. And I know this theme is bad because I did it before um, I did this video. So just watch this and see what happens so over here I keep all my themes in a theme folder to keep it organized and then um, I try to organize it by folders but this theme I copied into my SD card and it does not work for my Wii so I'm going to install it and then I receive a black screen so I exit um, over here but homebrew channel still works with this black screen it's not until you go into the Wii system menu that it nothing works so exit to the system menu and then you have a black screen so right now um, my dazzle capture card is recording my Wii my Wii has a black screen and I can't do anything about it so what you have to do is you have to power off your Wii and then when you power it on you need to hold reset immediately um, if you hold reset immediately after you power it on you will get to preloader for the for other people, it might not work that way. Sometimes it has to be like hold the power button and then after letting go of the power button, you press reset really quickly. Um, press it a couple times and then you'll get into preloader. It all depends if you installed preloader correctly. So just remember that. So if preloader works, it will come into this screen over here. Um, it's going to pop up and then you will get over here preloader it's working um, usually it's white but I changed it to black so over here you can get into the homebrew channel and that's why preloader is recommended because it can boot into the homebrew channel and fix your Wii for you um, so you can go to launch title and then drop into homebrew channel to launch the homebrew channel um, preloader also um, if you brick your Wii by having system menu hacks and you accidentally turned on black screen hack, then you can just disable that and it will fix your Wii. But for people with themes, they need to get into the homebrew channel to fix um, their Wii. So this is a lot of things that I'm saying right now. So if you have any questions, just watch the video over again or just leave a comment in um, the comments below. And I will try to answer it as quickly as possible. 
Um, if not, then hopefully other people can answer it for you. So I'm going to go into Homebrew Channel um, in a little bit, and then um, I'm going to um, show you two ways that you can fix your wheat. The first way is using my MyMenuFy, and you can use my MyMenuFy and install the correct theme. So over here, okay, um, I have Homebrew Channel. You drop down to Homebrew Channel, and then you press A to load the channel. So um, Homebrew Channel might be in a different place, but all you have to do is find it and then press A. So as I was saying about the two ways you can fix your Wii, you can use my MyMenuFy to fix your Wii by loading a correct theme, but you can also go to Multi-Mod Manager and um, install a um, install the version again um, to fix your Wii. So over here I have a lot of 4.1U themes and um, if I install one of these themes then my Wii will be working good as new again. Um, for questions about themes and how you get them, you can always look on YouTube. There's a lot of YouTube links. Um, people provide links with um, correct themes for different version numbers. And also, um, in a in a new tutorial, I'll show you later on how to make themes. So right now, um, forget about that. Multi mod manager, you just go A and load it. Then you drop down to manage system menu, and then you can um, install any system menu and it will fix your Wii. So 4.1 or 4.2 um, region will be different for different people if you are living in someplace else besides uh, North America. But um, you need internet connection to install a theme or you can download it off the internet. Um, I'm more um, I feel like the internet connection is more reliable because you never know if um, people have corrupted um, system menus online. So I always do it this way. Uh, you can use this application called NUS Loader Downloader, I think, but I won't get into detail with that. Um, you can search it up on Google. But if you so in um, this way. It's dependent on whether or not you had internet connection before you um, had before you messed up your Wii with a theme. So if you had internet connection before, um, then this will definitely work. You just press A and then it installs the system menu and then your Wii will be working again. For other people who don't have internet connection, if you want to use this way, you can download this application called NUS Loader Downloader, which uh, I will show in a different tutorial, but it's like more of a few people will actually do it. Um, basically, you can get the system menu WAD, and then if you look at my um, hacking tutorial, you know that you can use WADs, install it, and then the system menu is the WAD, so then it'll fix your Wii after you install the WAD. Um, so over here, system menu, I speeded it up, and then it's done. It took about like 10 minutes, I think. But then um, after you have the system menu, you can, you can press B, um, which is the back button on the Wii Remote, and then B again to exit Multi-Mod Manager. Then when you go into um, into your um, system menu again, like back um, at the Wii menu, I mean, it will have the white theme again, and then it, it will work perfectly. So that's how you do it with Preloader. Um, people who have boot me as boot two can also use a preloader method, but um, boot me as boot two is more reliable, I would say. So I powered off my Wii over here, and I'm going to show you um, the second way you can do it: um, installing the correct theme on my MenuFi. So I went on my MenuFi after downloading um, a theme on my Nintendo Wii, and then um, after. Well, I, I downloaded this theme off the internet. I just YouTube searched it and um, Google searched it and then made sure it was 4.1U because that's my system menu version. So after I made sure it was for my right version and after I did a preloader stuff again before um, this is in, in the beginning, the preloader stuff loaded my homebrew channel. And now I'm going to load my MenuFi and then just show you if you install a correct theme on your Nintendo Wii, it overwrites the um, bad theme, the corrupted theme, and then it fixes just, um, it fixes your Wii. So right now I'll go into my MenuFi and then fix my Wii, and then everything will be good again. Um, that's the second option. Um, I wish I could go a little bit more detail, but um, 
this is just a quick fix for those people who um, were asking for a video like this because a lot of people were worried that they damaged their Wii. If you did not install Preloader um, before this video, well, before you messed up your Wii and you didn't have Boot Me as Boot 2, then there's, there's still hope. There's still hope. Um, I know about two methods. You can do... You can put actually boot me the iOS the boot me iOS on a disk and then it um you put it into your Wii and then hopefully it might boot into the boot me and then you can fix your Wii after installing 4.1 again or you can um you can use GameCube controllers and something about this like little thing where you unplug it and plug it back in and then that could fix your Wii. I can't show you that because I don't have GameCube controllers so you'll have to search it on a different YouTube channel but after I install the correct theme it goes into my Wii menu again and then it fixes my Wii and then it's all good. Um, you can as long as the um, theme works for your Wii, then it'll, it will fix your Wii. So thanks for watching everyone. This has been a quick tutorial. It wasn't as detailed as I would hope to be because a lot of people like my detailed videos, but I've been busy with a lot of stuff. So thanks for watching everyone. Please rate, comment, this, uh, and subscribe. And I really appreciate all the help that you're giving me because I'm almost to 1,000 subscribers. So thanks for watching everyone. Um, have a nice new year because um, it's the new year and this is, I think, my first or maybe second video of the new year, and I hope to make a lot more tutorials before the Wii U comes out.